Art of Rally is a very visually deceptive racing game. It is not arcadey. It may look like it in the previews and the pictures, some cute little low poly rally cars just rolling all over the place, flying over hills and everything. But no, you do have to put in a little bit of work and it's just enough to make it not arcadey uh, and also challenging enough for people who play, you know, more traditional first slash third person driving cars like Dirt or Wreckfest or any FIA or any other kind of race racing game, you will appreciate this. It is a relaxing drive, uh, but just challenging enough where it doesn't feel like the game is keeping the car on the track for you. It doesn't actually at all. It doesn't keep the car on the track for you at all. <laughs> there is no like turning assist or anything like that. There is there is some driving assist uh, like ABS and uh, counter steering and whatnot. Uh, but for the most part, you're on your own. Just listen to some some chill synth wave and just go out into this beautiful low poly type environments uh, and just just race. So what I'm gonna show you guys today is uh we're gonna go with career and the career is pretty nice the game def definitely uh takes its uh, history of rally pretty seriously it doesn't it doesn't um uh, it doesn't like make up situations or make up storylines and stuff like dirt has in the past uh it actually gives you the true kind of story behind rally it shows like group 2 1967 1968 69 70 71 this is all campaign stuff right uh and it gives you kind of a breakdown this was group 2 this is the period that group 2 is kind of the most popular uh then you go on to group 3 which i'm going to show you one of these today and it says faster cars better organization even more attention this brought uh, curious machines to the event as teams studied the rules and exploited gray areas. This was the dawn of cars designed specifically for rally and it was the birth of legends adored to this day. So this kind of flavor text you can expect to see in, um, we'll bump that up to normal, sure, why not? Uh, <laughs> I'm really bad at this, by the way. Like, I, I, I've been playing it for about three, four hours and I am, like, pretty terrible. Um, <laughs> but it's still relaxing to drive and, like, every once in a while you get, like, this really good, like, just kind of segue between all some of these different turns and you feel like you said this zen moment you know you're not even looking at the car you're kind of just looking at the road around you and ahead of you and you're just kind of enjoying the scenery so i'd imagine that uh it's gonna be pretty bad um trying to talk and also drive at the same time considering it is a very zen like experience uh so you can see each one of these cars that you've unlocked it gives you a kind of a breakdown it doesn't tell you the exact model because they don't have licensing for it uh but they will tell you like if this car has been successful in a particular championship or whatever it'll say oh yeah this uh here you go so breaking paradigms is hard this was uh and this was the japanese take on trying it out instead of exploding up and down cylinders the rotary three engine had exploding go around triangles which made their engine really really small and light and light uh, and sound like a thousand enraging wasps so they give you a really cool breakdown on these cars that really do exist. Um, and there's some cars you'll recognize in some cases, like you're, you'll see like there's the BMW, there's the Mini, there's the stuff, the more popular known ones. Um, so let's go ahead and take one out here and we choose different, uh, yeah, different skins here. Delivery. We'll just go with like yeah, a little Bumblebee here. I don't know if I've driven this car actually. So I want to show you guys uh, I, a, um, a campaign rally. Uh, multiple stages because I want you guys to see what the uh, just kind of what the assortment is that you can get with these different maps. And I'll show you guys free roam. Free roam is is what actually what I first started playing when the game first, which I think was all they had when they when the game first came out. Um, I think it was an early access at the time, maybe. But it was. I mean, look, it's just it's just like <laughs> it's so simple, right? It's so simple and it's so, so like just. <laughs> Try hardy aesthetic, right? Uh, low poly, but it's but it works. It really works. Uh, anyways, yeah. So uh, the the free roam uh, was just kind of a way just to get out there, and just kind of just you know, tackle these tracks and all that. Uh, we'll go to begin stage. Here we go, Rido. They have like all these fake like petrol, like a petrol on the side. I love how they still have all of the banners that would you would normally expect with the with the um, uh, sponsorship and stuff on it. Look at these people! Wow! But it's all like generic stuff. So there, there are people that get out on the, onto the uh, get out of the crowd, but you cannot hit them. I've tried. You, they get out of the way. <laughs> you cannot smoosh them at all. So the car does handle really nicely. Uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to at first, uh, and even after a while, you may still have some problems. 
Um, but like I said, this is not an arcadey RC Pro Am, uh, you know, super sprint or any kind of like simple top down kind of racer. You definitely have to put the work into it. But again, it's rewarding. You know, when you're going around some of these turns, it's just as rewarding as playing Dirt Rally or Dirt or any of the other, or Wreck Fest or any of the other racing games. Because you are putting in the effort to make this work. Whoa, a little too much there. Gotta tab it, I'll hold it. There we go. Soundtrack's really nice. It is kind of a synth wavy soundtrack. Ooh, clip that a little bit. There is damage. Um, I have actually uh, done some pretty good damage to the vehicle. It was actually on fire. It was it was the cutest little puff of like a fire. It was not even anything. It didn't even really feel like it was really that important. Like your car is li literally in flame. You're just kind of like, aw. <laughs> I'll, I'll just keep driving. It's fine. No. Oh. So there are different viewpoints you could take here. Uh, you can. Uh, this is the one of my favorites. It's the lowest here. Uh, hold on. I have to at least try to get put in a good time here. I'm going to go on a straightaway. I'll show you guys different, different looks. So there you go. There's one, two, six, maybe seven, three, and it gets higher and higher. Four. Look at this. So you, I mean, you could really get pretty far away from your car. I love the cutouts as well. Whenever you drive through something, the LOS is between the camera and the car. Uh, it's just, it's just a, just a round circle, you know, just like a round circle so you can see where your car is and what it's doing. Oh, did not break at all on that. Jeez, jeez. Embarrassing. I knew I was going to be bad at this, like, especially presenting it to you guys, but the game is too good to, to, uh, oh, God, to let my, <laughs> to let my dignity get in the way. <laughs> there you go. People, people, people. They're so good at dodging. Unlike real life. <laughs> A little bit better. What's an apex? No idea. Gosh, trying to get this car under control. It's so hard. It's <laughs> oh, that's a ditch. Now, the game will recover the car for you and add five seconds to your time if you manage to stick it in a ditch, so you want to be careful with that. In free roam, you can, they actually let you go pretty far um, uh, off the road before they decide to be like, okay, that's enough, and they pull you back in. But here, like if I try to cut this corner a little bit too much, they will definitely penalize me five seconds. Let me get back to... Uh, gosh, it keeps getting higher. Look at that. There's another one. I mean, this is like almost straight up top down. Ugh. The last turn, of course. There we go. Got a nice little shot of the car going across the thing. And let's see. Hey, second place. Not too bad. Not too bad. It has a photo mode, by the way. We'll talk about that in a second. Let me. I don't think I did anything particularly fancy in this playthrough here. So let's go ahead and go. We'll find it. We'll find a good, uh, a good map where we can try. Um. I have seen, by the way, Gravel and, uh, oh, it's, we're all going to be in the same thing. Oh, okay. The last campaign actually took me on a tour. I was going to different, um, this is all taking place in Japan. Um, well, it's okay. We could do this. These matches are only like three, four minutes each. Uh, but yeah, there's Gravel, there's Tarmac. I'd imagine there's probably uh, other, uh, I guess other. <laughs> gravel, Tarmac, Pavement, uh, and what was another one? I guess Dirt. Yeah, Stripe Dirt. So I'm sure there's probably other materials that you can race on as well. Whoa, these idiots. These idiots. God, it's so realistic. Okay, gosh, it keeps getting higher. Let me get lower. Here we go. Here we go. The car sounds good, you know? Doesn't have to sound too realistic. <laughs> just has to, you just have to be able to hear the car. It's not bad, actually. It does sound kind of like a lo-fi version of, a, of the real thing. Here we go. You can move the camera around, take a look around your surroundings. Whoa! Excuse me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, boy, I almost died. Woo! <laughs> ah. Did that cut out? That cut out's amazing. This is little things to be appreciative of. The car doesn't just disappear behind a cherry blossom tree or whatever. Which, by the way, I think that's that. Oh crap! Gosh, can't talk and drive at the same time. Um, by the way, I think I think that's actually happening right now, or well, probably uh, probably a couple weeks ago or so in uh, in Japan. 
is that time of year where they all kind of blossom. And I, I say that because we have a few in the neighborhood that some of the neighbors have, and they're all they all look like this. Um, I believe Japan is uh, seasonally like right behind us, so like like they're they're experiencing the same thing. Okay, 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 okay. The stages are all you know nominal length, like they're all like reasonable. Not uh, it's not like a full twenty minute journey or anything crazy like that. You know, you're not going through uh, stages. Um, in a, I mean, you are going through. In some cases, there are stages, but it's not. Um, they're they're not as long, I guess you could say, right? Come on. One thing I don't know is if this game has Pike's Peak. I actually don't know that. Like I know some of the maps are based off of real locations, but uh, I actually don't know if it has Pike's Peak, huh? I guess I'll just be a surprise then. <laughs> They do have Group B, which is the, um, I mean, I don't, they don't do that anymore, I believe, but uh, it was basically just like a no-holds barred, basically strap a rocket to your car and just see what happens. Uh, cars with insane amount of power, just powering through gravel. And you have those available to you. And those actually drive really nicely, of course. Nice little shot. Bam. Gotta get the thumbnail. Come on, let's go. Uh, stage results. Okay, so I'm in first place, second place overall. I see this? Let me see. Um, oh my god, by 0.525 seconds? Oh my god. <sighs> by nothing. Alright, so it's, this 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 is uh, doable. I think I could probably pull out a win here. Morning gravel. Okay, no repairs. Oh no, no, that's right. We gotta do repairs. Let me see. Basically nothing. Gearbox is fine. We got auto repair. Plenty of, basically gave your time allotment and then you could repair. I haven't damaged the vehicle to the point to where I've actually used up all that time. So, I mean, your, your mods may vary. Um, this is a long one. 7.1 miles. This will take about four minutes. I love that pink polka dot starting banner. Yeah, you don't even see the people anymore because they're complete non non-entities. I, I, when, I, when this game first came out, I was trying so hard to like run over the people. I was trying to sneak up on them and all that. Like, like drift into them. So many things. The last second drift into them and they're just too good at getting out of the way. <laughs> they just have like, they just have like bumpers on them. They just kind of slide out. Woo. Okay, this is where I have, I, have to, I have to pull out a first place finish here. Otherwise, I have to do the whole thing again. I have a second place in my previous campaign. I was like, no. Of the scenery. I have the depth of field on. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, the depth of field is. It's um, right now. It feels like a little strong. Okay, I was kind of getting fast there. I think it's because there's so much distance now in, in this particular layout. Yeah, like the big pink blobs of the back there. Let's turn it off. I'm curious. They have a lot of a lot of graphics options, by the way. Let me see. They have this, and then they have this. You can go through and just yeah, boom, 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 boom. Let me see. Distance blur. Let's go into off that, and then we'll leave everything else alone. Oh, hmm. Now you can see all the pixels. <laughs> huh? What do I like better? Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. I actually think I might prefer it being a little bit soft. You're not looking at that stuff anyways, you're looking at the road, right? Yeah. Little cut corners, fine. Hold up. Hold up. Is this it? Is this it? Shh. Nah. We could do better than this. Photo mode. We could do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Just try and go for that picture. Try and get that thumbnail. Now there are no other cars. Like you're not gonna see any. Oh crap! You're not gonna see any other cars while you're driving around. Oh, this is painful. Um. So there's no like you know bumpers. You can't like you know bump into other cars or anything like that. No collision, except for with the environment. Go and then 
That's nah, still too much. Too much. I gotta take it easy on that. Yeah, it's always just your car. Your car on the road. Ooh, it's good air. Good air. We're only halfway through, a little over halfway, it looks like. I really want to get the first on this. This guy beat me by half a second. Meanwhile, everybody else is like one minute behind and all that stuff. I haven't tried it on the harder difficulty. I've only tried um, default and novice. And novice is like a joke. Uh, default, you actually do kind of have to work for it, especially somebody who's uh, you know, learning the ropes and whatnot. Like you have to actually kind of put the work, the effort in. I haven't tried on the hardest difficulty though, but I'd imagine it's probably pretty rough, given how easy uh, novice is. Like if it scales like that for the next one, yeah, you're in trouble. But you're always just you're just racing against times, of course. As rally goes, Jesus, that's, what am I doing? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Come on, baby. Oh, gosh. Dang it. So close. We're so close. It's so hard to get under control. There's no wheel support, by the way. I looked. <laughs> I guess you could probably make it work. Like, because it does work with the... Uh, you know, an Xbox controller just fine. So you could probably fashion a, a setup that would work just fine as well. No! Not at the end! Jesus Christ! Go, go, go! <laughs> I tried to flat out that turn. Oh man, where are we at? 423. Oh yeah, baby! Woo! My overall rankings though is 2546 though, so not not too great. Not too great. Uh, then yeah, you have the replay. You can go through and watch the replay here. So it's kind of, I mean, it's a pretty, look at this. This is a pretty damn good system. Overall, love this. Look at this action camera and everything. It's so good. They really put a lot of love into this game. You feel it, man. When you play this, like you could feel. It's like, oh yeah, they put they put work into this. All right, here we go. So number one, me by a lot actually. It was like 33 seconds or something there. So rally stage wins 60%. Restarts left. Yeah, using restarts 25 points. So this is where they give you your awards, whatever you won. Um, Usually it's like liveries or car unlocks and whatnot. So here we go. New car unlocked. La Wedge. <laughs> no. No, uh, no, uh, licensing, of course. Uh, let's see. So 5 seat rear wheel drive, naturally aspirated, V6, 200 horsepower. One day your current rally car is showing signs of age. You collaborate with a supercar design studio to make the first ever rally car developed from the ground up and mountain engine burrowed. A borrowed from a supercar. The result, a short wheelbase, wedge-shaped rally icon. It's great. I love that they they put uh, all these like all this flavor text with everything. It's just a shame that you can't they can't attach it to like actual car names, you know, the actual manufacturers and whatnot. You have to actually just know. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, oh yeah, that's the blank, and that's the blank. It's like, well, I, I don't. I'm a very casual watcher of rally stuff. I'll watch stuff on YouTube, not live. Um, I think I watched uh, uh, one one time. I, I woke up super early and I started watching it live, um, but not enough to follow. Not enough to follow. Like who's who's who does what. Um, let's go to let's go to the online event. Let's see what the daily event is. Hopefully, it's not Japan. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they do have daily and weekly events. Uh, oh, this is gonna restart in uh, okay soon. Okay, leaderboard for Monday. Yeah, I'm not on this yet. So oh yeah, I'm. Oh wait, oh it didn't restart for. Oh okay, okay I did it last night. I thought it restarted, reset already. So it's nine hours. Okay, let's do the weekly event then. That's fine. I wonder if this is just gonna be one race or if it's gonna be a series. Let's see. Oh, it's gonna be a series. We are multiple different places though, so this might not might not be too bad. I really, I might bail just to show you guys the, um, the, uh, free roam, though. Rain, huh. Yes, they do have weather. Rain, snow, sunny, of course, morning, afternoon, night. 
<laughs> like, it is definitely a fully fleshed out racing experience that presents as an arcade game. Until you actually start driving, you're like, hold on a sec, why am I in the dirt? Why am I in the grass? Why am I not? <laughs> Where's my drive line? You don't get a drive line, dude. You just get music and a car. That's it. Okay, okay, hold on. Oh. My drive, my turn sensitivity is like all the way down as well because I'm one of those like, um, uh, on these kinds of cars. Oh my gosh. All these kinds of drives, or sorry, racing games, I'm, I'm usually like slamming the, uh, the uh, controller thumbstick all over the place. And so if the sensitivity is too high, then I end up like turning, cranking the wheel like really hard. I wonder if that's actually working against me in some cases. Nah, it's probably just my driving. This is hard, dude. I'm slipping all over the place. Okay. I'm just, yeah, I'm just slipping everywhere. This is just, just nonsense. I'm gonna be last. <laughs> Look at, <laughs> I'm just trying to give it just a little bit of gas. Oh, by the way, you can shift. Uh, you, I, I haven't figured it out yet, but you can like, pull, you can pop the clutch. No, that clutch at least. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, man, this is gonna be just, oh, this is gonna be just terrible. Uh, but yeah, you can, uh, it's X and A. You could basically uh, shift. Left, left uh, bumper is the clutch. So you can hold in the clutch. I drive, now I drive stick in real life, so. But I, and I can't figure out how to switch shift in this thing. It's like I'll go gas, 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 and then let go, then shift. And it doesn't let me shift, so uh, there must be a, um, a setting somewhere that you could toggle between automatic and, uh, and clutch. That I haven't seen in four hours of playing, I guess. I kind of want to just trash this car just to see what happens. Because this is, like, I'm not doing well. <laughs> I'm doing terrible. <laughs> I'm starting to get it a little bit, but man, it is just punishing. Not to mention the car has got stupid power. Supercar engine, tiny car, short wheelbase, and it just goes. That was a little better. I tried a snow track and it was just, I was just basically ice skating. I mean, it was actually, it was about on par with this actually, it wasn't too bad, but it def, you feel it for sure. Coming off the pavement, going into just snow, just straight up snow. Like, yeah. Starting to get it, starting to get it, starting to get it. I love the, the backfire. Ugh. Sometimes the walls can be a little bit grabby. Like the guard, like you would expect the guardrail to kind of give you a little go, right? But yeah, you kind of get these little clips where you just kind of stop the car, spins the car. So it's a little unforgiving in that regard. But you know, honestly, you should just like not hit the guardrail, you know? <laughs> yeah, if that's your problem, then maybe you should just stop doing that. I'm trying to just like, just, just feather the throttle here. Because it is so demanding. You can adjust the throttle sensitivity as well, actually. I yeah, think about it. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> Woo, man. Snorkel. That was my first time driving in rain. Oh, man. Let's do another one. Oh, God. 92. God, <laughs> not good at all. 3.7 miles. It's a short one, at least. Oh, this is the snow. Oh, no. It's the rain. Okay. Oh, we're back in Japan. Oh, uh, you know, we're back in Japan. Uh, you know what? I kind of want to show you guys other stuff, so let's do that. You sure want to quit? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can just quit. Let's see. Uh, free roam. So in free roam, you can choose where you want to go, right? Well, I'm sorry. You can start You start off with the lakes, and you can choose where you want to go when you get on the map. Um, now, it is kind of this Tony Hawk setup where you can go through and collect cassettes, viewpoints, and the letters rally, like skates. Uh, then you can find Fun Selector, the developers. Uh, you find their van. Um, and then you could choose what do you want? Morning, afternoon, rain, night, fog. Uh, ooh, fog. I haven't tried that yet. Hmm, that'd be kind of cool. San Pietro Island. Gravel and tarmac. Then you could choose your vehicle and you have a wide assortment of things. This is free roam. You could basically take whatever you want. Well, I, no, I guess not everything, which is a shame. Actually, I, f I forgot about this. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I have unlocked so much stuff. Um, gosh, what should we take? Should we take uh, group S, group A? I mean, I just think we feel like we should take a group B. Look at this. Just to give you guys an idea of what they have. You'll complete 1982 in career mode. Some of these actually might have been unlocked for me doing career mode stuff, but these things, this is all new. Oh, look at this guy. 
That's sexy. Huh. It's an improvement with revised aerodynamics, powertrain, and suspension. Uh, it featured a computer design chassis. Materials only see in F1 and a lot of electronics. Most notably, it had an espresso machine hooked up in the radiator as the Italian drivers demanded caffeine between stages. <laughs> <laughs> the uh one of the japanese ones it says they had a sake dispenser for weight distribution <laughs> so maybe not everything that they write is totally accurate but uh it does tell a pretty good story and it does <laughs> it does make you feel like they have a love for rally and they do clearly look at this thing we're taking this thing for a spin in the fog is that why i chose fog and gravel Woo boy and we have to find, we have to find what? We have to find, oh man. Oh, the fog's not too bad. Okay, not too bad. We can handle this. See, look how plain and unassuming the game looks, right? You're just like, oh, it's, yeah, it's whatever. And then you squeeze the gas and you're like, yo! What? All right, we have to find letters and cassettes. This is my first time doing this uh, free roam, actually. I just finished the other one before uh, I started recording. I didn't know when to start. It was like, I'm not gonna get any better, so. <laughs> I was seriously driving and I was just like, okay, you know, maybe if I just practice a little bit more and then I could do the episode. I was like, nah, let's just do it. There's no point in not doing it. I've had this game for so long. Oh, gosh. I love the sound of the brakes. You hear the chassis kind of rolling a little bit. I feel like you can. I heard like a kind of little squeak. There he goes. Tiny little squeak there. Where are all my letters at? Whoa, people! Jeez. Yeah, like I said, you could go pretty far off-road. If I came this far, it would immediately put me back on the track with a five-second penalty. Where are my letters at? Oh, go, oh no, gosh. No damage, though, I don't think. I've tried to- I've slammed this thing into so many- I've rolled it so many times. Uh, there's- there doesn't seem to be any damage enabled for this. This car is- is outrageous. I'm looking ahead, trying to find... Ah, there we go. We got a Y. Whoa. And now let's see where this goes. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Fuck. Uh, merda. Oh, yeah, that's right. There are... Um, is it going to replace... Okay, I guess I'll just do it myself. Um, there are, there are like, uh, hashtags underneath some of the cars. Just like with the nicknames, I guess. Of the cars. Ooh, I believe. One of them is called a pug, and I was like, okay, I can see that. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, man. Totally realistic. Oh, God. <laughs> Blue could, it just, yeah, yeah, it's not going to let me try to, re to recover that. The game knows better. So yeah, you need to collect Rally in order to unlock the next, the next map. They give you a good amount of like completionist things to do. You know, like you have the campaign, which is pretty straightforward. You just do the campaign, try to get first in everything, of course. And then you have the free roam that has all the collectibles, the total Tony Hawk free roam type setup. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just enough to, you know, I mean, it, it, you're talking a 25, this is just embarrassing. We're talking about $25 price tag, which may be off-putting when you look at this game visually, but content-wise, like, it's there, you know? Like, they give you $25 worth of content in this. Um, like I said, there is no multiplayer, it's rally, you know, so you would always be racing as times anyways. So there is no traditional, like, or no, um, non-traditional rally setups where you start, like, you know, butt to butt and, uh, you can see all the cars and all that, which, I mean, technically traditional, yes, but, um, but on those courses you can also, like, uh, actually see the other cars and, like, in real life and whatnot. If you would be too slow, be passed, you can't do that in this. Uh, that would be a neat feature. I would, I, I personally, I would love to see this, uh, expand into Rallycross. Like, the way these cars control, I would love to see Rallycross added to this. It would, that would just be... I mean, you talk about, like, bang for your buck, $25 price tag. Rallycross 2? Hell yeah. Aha! Okay, hold on. I'm getting there. Excuse me, balloon. <laughs> Take the view. Look at that. One of five view. Hi, the UI, bro. Continue driving. There you go. Too bad all that fog. <laughs> Too bad the foggy day. 
most everything, most all of these pickups have been um, on the road. Or like, or right next to the road, actually. Uh, the Y on the last one was actually a little off the road. But only by like, maybe 100 feet or so. But yeah, most everything is pretty visible from the road. So don't don't worry about trying to, you know, actually explore the, the wilderness to try to find a missing letter or a missing checkpoint or whatever. Should mostly be visible from the street. Yeah, like here we go, there's the set. One of five cassettes. They don't seem to unlock music or anything like that. It just, just collect cassettes. Like VHS tapes. Whoa! Just gonna gun it until it gets back on the road. But like I said, like, you know, I, I played this game. Uh, ooh! When I first started, when I was first playing this game, uh, when I was, yeah, when I, when I first checked it out, I was pretty high, right? No, I don't smoke anymore, right? Not, not, not right now. Anyway, I was taking a break. But um, when I first played, I was pretty high. Man, just what a, what a serene Zen experience. Just cruising, not, not even full throttle. Just kind of cruising like this, and just enjoying the scenery. Hold on, is that their van? No, that's not it, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, I found you. You could drive that now, I think, because that is something that's unlocked. Uh, a drivable vehicle. Um, anyway, so, yeah, just, just such a, just, just such a serene, just, you know, wonderful experience while you're, uh, under the influence. <laughs> oh, the music was great. I think I had the music cranked up. The, the engine sounds were cranked up. Whoop. The game was, just, everything was just loud. It was just like, yeah, this is perfect. Just get, just get completely immersed. I'm driving like I'm high right now. I was better then. Jesus. What happened you stop smoking? Okay, I've, I've done like a big circle. There's no mini map, by the way. That's a very important thing. No mini map. On top of no drive line, there's no mini map or anything to show you the turns coming up. Uh, you're supposed to be your own, dang it, your own co-driver with the camera, basically, because you could see all the turns that are coming up. Flat out, flat out, flat out, flat out. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, autopilot! What is this? Oh, I landed! I freaking landed it! <laughs> yeah! Alright, well, that's good. I think you guys get the gist, right? I'm just gonna take it forever to get it. Let's get back on the road. Let's see, what was that autopilot? Let's see. Spend five minutes airborne. Okay, I, I maybe have, may have been doing this a bit on my own, too. <laughs> Five minutes airborne. Oh shit. Well, well, I think that's enough of this. And you can just quit anytime and just go. And again, the photo mode. Yeah, let me give you guys a bit of, bit of a rundown here. Like, you could just get pretty damn close. There's um, the photo effects. It actually gets pretty detailed. There's um, uh, autofocus, which doesn't focus uh, close enough for me. Uh, I was a little surprised by that. So, this focus is uh, 1%. I'll put on 1% here so you can see. But, like, Still, like nothing is in focus here. You can see there's a tiny strip of focus right there. But I can't get the car to get nicely in focus with that. So I, what I had to do was um, actually expand that out a bit, if I remember. Expand the aperture out, like open that up a lot to let more light in, basically. Which, yeah, that you can see in the background there, it's starting to help. Let me go ahead and move this. Yeah, you see, it's just it's just not designed to get too close, which is kind of a shame because I would have liked to um, get a nice uh, get a nice. Uh, Look at the car. Here we go. That's about as close as you can get. You can see the bumpers kind of getting out of focus there. Uh, I would like to get like a really nice kind of under the car kind of upshot like this, but you have to, you know, just kind of go with it. Let me see. There's also um, there's zoom actually. Maybe I could kind of make that happen. Oh yeah, you can get a pretty good nice tight FOV with this. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities here. Roll. We could roll a little bit. You know, this car's like parked. <laughs> car's like parked, but it's cool. It looks nice. Uh, we can add some. Uh, we got some bloom. Crank that up. Make those uh, lights really glow. Lens dirt is pretty sexy, actually. It kind of adds some uh, some flair to the... Look at that. Kind of add a little bit of grit there. Uh, exposure, vignetting. I mean, all this is pretty basic stuff. Like, exposure is basically increases the brightness. So if you're, sh if you're shooting at night or whatever. Shooting. You know what I'm saying. Um, the contrast. I mean, it's you know, saturation. I mean, this is all pretty self-explanatory. I wanted to crank the saturation up. Oh, wow. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Man. Uh, ghost effect. What's the ghost effect? I don't know what that is. Is it like go through the car or something? 
Oh no! Oh man, my photo! Oh god, it's gone! Okay, well, you guys get the gist. Uh, robust photo system. Uh, it's like I saved my settings though, so that's nice. And then I could just zoom in. in between the trees here, look at this. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a lot of possibilities here if you want to take some pretty cool photos with your, of your, uh, of your rally experience. Make a nice little wallpaper or something, you could do it, or a thumbnail for a video, whatever you want. Well, that's it. The game is called Art of Rally. Uh, a really, really good, um, a really, really good take on Rally. Uh, and, I mean, it's very similar to, like, us, I guess, like, Absolute Drift. Um, there's another one that came out that's kind of similar. Uh, some like, yeah, kind of, but I mean, like, not as robust as this, though. Like, this has got a lot of features, more modern features, the photo mode and the, uh, the weekly events, the, uh, the daily events, free roam and all that stuff. Like, it's just really well put together. And there's a lot, I mean, if we go to career right here, like, there's a lot of, of stages I've not even got to yet. This took me, going through all of these stages took me about probably 90 minutes last night or so, um, to complete all of these. And I have to go back and redo one, of course. Uh, so I'd imagine... You know, if you look at like maybe 90 minutes or an hour for each one, I mean, there's still like, that's like, you know, six to, to nine hours of the content right here in front of you. So there's, there's a lot of, uh, I mean, there's a lot of possibilities or a lot of, uh, um, content here for somebody who is, you know, who, who, who enjoys these types of racing games or just enjoys rally in general. Uh, so that's it. My name is Mike BAK Phony. You can pick up Art of Rally on Steam for $24.99. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.